We run two farms next door to each other. One farm runs 430 cows twice a day. The second farm is predominantly heifers and young stock and jerseys, and they run once a day. Dairying has changed over the time that we've been dairying with like herd numbers. The average herd used to be below 300, well now it's much higher. There's a lot more demands in some ways on people and resources. In terms of overall farming costs, fertiliser is one of the big ticket items. So we need to make sure we spend it well, really. Mm. We want our best bang for our bucks with our fertiliser. Fertiliser management is extremely important in Fonterra suppliers because we, we want to control our own destiny. We don't want to be told what we have to do and what we can't do. Our farm is rolling and flat, so our flat paddocks we've got a travelling irrigator. and our rolling hills, steeper hills, we've got a fertigators, which are like pods, and they sprinkle effluent uh, to a, a very small amount, which is very beneficial on the hills. The pasture here on, on the Dawson's farm is a good mixed pasture sward. It's particularly showing a, a strong clover content, which uh, to me indicates uh, good nutrient management skills and good grazing management. The, the clover here is fixing nitrogen and the necessity for using artificial N is reduced as a result. I think our nutrient management is just getting the basics right. We monitor, we soil test regularly, we follow through, we make the staff take responsibility for what they're doing. So one person's in charge of one farm, the irrigator and the effluent, the other farm's the same situation. We plant the riparian strips, we manage the nutrients, we budget with the nutrient budget with our fertiliser rep and we monitor that and it's a live document and we're always going back to it. All waterways on these farms, they've been planted as well, which uh, really makes a difference as far as running the property but also enhances the retention of nutrients on the farms. By planting the riparian, it's absorbing some nitrates and some phosphates from getting into the waterways. It's a win-win definitely because we're not having to spend more money on fertiliser, we're not losing the fertiliser, not losing the effluent, and the nutrients aren't going down the drain and affecting someone else further down the system. Mm -hmm.